Levanlufta is unique. Uh, we don't have water burials in any other countries in the world. So this is actually a very interesting and intriguing place. Uh, 98 individuals have been buried in water there during the Iron Age. And what is peculiar with this site is not only that they are buried in water, also the fact that they are mostly women and children. The most important finding is that for the first time we can, with the work, uh, ancient DNA work, show the presence of the Sami people so south in Finland. This has been uh, suggested earlier by uh, measurements of the skeletal remains and the bones by anthropologists that, as a hypothesis that the level of the finds could be of Sami origin. But now with the DNA we can confirm this finding. This burial site is far away from, from other settlement sites. So we believe that this was a quite peculiar uh, burial place for people out of the norm. To be buried in water tells about the ideology and about perhaps also religion. We analyzed the strontium isop composition in, in the tooth enamel of these uh, Levanlohta individuals. And we also took samples from around Levanluhta so that we could figure out what is kind of the terrestrial local baseline that we can compare the samples to. Strontium isotopes, um, they are often used to study the origins of people or how they have migrated. When you want to answer questions about whether someone is a local or not, and this is what we wanted to find out. It seems that at least one individual in Leveli Luhta seems not to be related to the Sami, but other uh, Scandinavian populations. So this clearly warrants further investigations on ancient DNA of the Leveluhta find. The new technology has enabled us to study DNA and get a lot of new samples from the bone material. So we are actually at a crossroads at the moment, and which is very exciting. And further studies will, will tell more about Lebanon.